made illegal, and then the cultural fight could start to happen, and dude, that is f***ing rude. I'm sorry, you take such a long time. What just what? happened? Oh, we didn't see it. Oh my god. Wait, what just happened? Go back. He just pulled his pants <laughs> down and flashed his weenie. He's like, look Flash. at my weenie over here. Okay. Interesting. I hope we find out. It all happened off camera, so we don't. I know. We can't tell. Sean, we'll are you still Sean. here? Sean left. <laughs> Sean, what happened? <laughs> we have to find out. The goal of teaching critical race theory in the schools is to generate a racial red guard just like we had under Mao in China. The goal is literally to create a cultural revolution. Wait, critical we're... race theory into the public Look, conversation. Justin will answer for me henceforth. Oh, that's so... Ugh. Oh, Sean's back in the chat. Sean, there's a point in the debate oh, where yes. James yes. Thank got goodness. very very upset and he said that's rude and it's, but we couldn't see what happened yeah because the camera wasn't on him yeah. so do you, do you remember what happened sean yeah what Shane, did, uh, we have to know we've speculated that mike pulled his ding dong out but we're... we think <laughs> yes we think liberal sanity project dropped his pants and whipped his dick around <laughs> and that's what was that's what was angering james but we're not sure so since you're there maybe you can let us we're know. not 100 percent positive this is right. this is speculation on our part Right. Dude, that is f***ing rude. I'm sorry, you take such a long time. What just what? happened? Oh, we didn't see it. Oh, my God. Wait, what just happened? Go back. He, uh, he obviously flipped him the bird. Everybody knows. It wasn't 1964, Civil Rights Act passed, racism was over. No, everybody knows that. But what happened was that legal, the, the legal apparatus changed so that racism could be made illegal and then the cultural fight could start to happen and dude that is fucking rude he just pulled his pants <laughs> down and flashed his weenie he's like look Flash. at my weenie over here okay interesting i hope we find out it all happened off camera so we don't, i know we can't tell sean we'll are you still sean. here sean, <laughs> sean what happened <laughs> we have to find out sean. i just imagine what's his name michael michael's like waving his wiener around like a Look at this. Was it Michael or was it Justin? Ooh, I don't know. Nobody. Somebody's waving their weenie. He said, dude, it could be. Could be either. Know. I'm sorry, you take such a long time. Oh, it's Michael. He's like, sorry, I had to pee. What are you going to do? <laughs> I had to whip it out. Sorry. Time. And we have okay, I'm done. opportunity Look, to respond to what you say. Okay, you answer you for me. You, you, so <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh Poor Sean's just sitting God. there, like with this smile, like I'm gonna James, get to talk eventually. James is so mad. Oh my I God, I miss it. I know. Look, this that's was the actually, thing people were talking about earlier. Listen, this is the perfect screenshot. Look at this. I know. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it for you right now. This is oh, brilliant. I, I backed it up. I I think I might have ruined it for you. You did, but don't worry. I got it before oh, okay. you fucked it up. No, I want to okay. see if I can catch it again here. Dude, well, I just sent it to you. That is rude. I'm sorry, you take such a long time, and we have okay, I'm done. opportunity. <laughs> Look at this. He's like so angry. Look at Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean is fucking loving this. Yep. Sean is loving this. I will say, you know, it's a little unfortunate that Sean didn't get to talk more, but whenever he did talk, he was dropping these like tactical bombs whenever <laughs> he would just slip in something like, oh my. So very, very well done. Yeah. Sean is a good debater. Sean is way better than he is. debates. Yeah, true. I aspire to be Sean in debates, but <laughs> in order to do that, I would actually have to read a bunch of studies and stuff. Uh -huh. And then I realize, okay, well, sh sh I don't want to compete against my buddy Sean. He he needs to be better at debates than me. There you go. There you go. You See, Sean, Adam allows you to be better no, than him. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's what he just That's said. excuse making right there. but <laughs> That is... That's that's excuse making. Look, I have I have a lot of different types of weed to try out. So. <laughs> Let's get, see if we can get James Lindsay here. Let's see if we can get it work. <laughs> On to what you Everybody, say. Okay, you answer wait, for wait, wait, you, he asked. So <laughs> There it is. Oh, there it is. That's such a character. What is that? There's got to be a name for that reaction shot. That whole like wrinkle of the mouth and. Oh. <laughs> 
It's so good. It's like dis he's disgusting. It is disgusting. Yes. Oh my right. you guys we try to respond to let's, just let's, let's, Listen, listen, time. listen. They're the ones who came here to get their questions answered. Let's yeah. try to get through as many questions as possible. Oh, so uh, this isn't rude. This my, my rude answer. My Look at the peacemaker here. I know. Thank you, Sean. Look at Sean the peacemaker. Sean the peacemaker. My answer to your question is what I said earlier about how discriminated against minorities don't necessarily. <laughs> Carrie's like, what the fuck? We told you guys we'd give you a fifth of bourbon. Now we're not even. Now you're going to get one of those little cocktail bottles. The problem Take that is. Back to your cardboard box. The problem is, and I know it sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but maybe it's not crazy coming from us. An hour and a half is not nearly long enough to have this conversation between these four people. Oh, hell no. <laughs> It's gotta be like three hours minimum. I don't know. You seem to want to talk to Jangles. Are you? Do you still feel like that's a good? I'm not against it if he wants to talk. Okay. You were very anti talking to Jangles because he wanted to talk. It's just pointless. A while ago, and he was very anti. And Adam was very anti Jangles coming on. I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. It's, it's pointless. I mean, okay, it's no skin off my nose. He's he's dan he's not even really answering the questions here. Sure. Yeah. And now this other guy's waving his dick around while James <laughs> Lindsay's talking. That's not a that's not a cool move. <laughs> we might get our channel demonetized. Uh -huh. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay. The underperformed majorities. I think that's interesting for people to learn that discrimination is not determinative of your outcome. But next person. Okay, so this question is for Justin. So uh, I've heard y'all and even the moderator say this several times that uh, apparently critical race theory is being taught in elementary school. Um, is there an actual policy or study or law that I can point to that says that critical race theory has to be taught in elementary school or even middle school? And if there's nothing that I can point to then that other than like, you know, uh, one school on Fox News, um, can you, like, what is the reason to even be talking about critical race theory? Did you hear we, me? We, it's so hard to hear. Sorry. With the uh, echo. I'm why is he asking Jangles that question? What is the reason to even be talking about this? He said, because he's saying, like, oh, well, first of all, it's a stupid fucking question. Mm -hmm. He's like, can you please name the law that mandates teachers teach CRT in school? <laughs> I don't think that's ever been an argument that most people have been really focused on. But I don't, he's he's asking Jangles this. Like, Jangles is going to fight back. He's going to say, no, you're right. There is no law. Like, it's... Yeah, Jangles so has sorry. been saying this whole okay. time. I believe, are you asking, is there a study to point to to say, here is critical race theory being taught in schools? In elementary school, specifically, because I've heard uh, Justin and the moderator say that, yeah, critical race theory is being taught in elementary school, but... Uh, oh, I just... It, I, I just think he doesn't know whose people's names are. <laughs> oh, you just got There's the names no, wrong. I think he thinks Justin is Sean or James. No, oh, like wild, wild study or report that actually shows that. So yeah, the entire point, and this is for yeah, Justin. So. I think, yeah. Uh, so the entire point of that was critical race theory isn't being taught in elementary school, not because we're trying to hide our secret Marxian agenda, but because it's a very, very complex. It's a, a, you, I say it's complex. I know you disagree. But it's, it's, it's just too, it requires too much knowledge of history, too much knowledge of sociology, too much knowledge of the law, too much knowledge of economics. It just, there's a lot of like prerequisites you need to understand it, and it's, therefore it's only taught. How do you like this, Sitch? The dumbest person on the planet is sitting here telling you about all, everything you need to know in order to be able to do critical race. Yeah, but my response would be like, I mean, I don't disagree with that, but that's what we're talking about. All these prerequisite things you're talking about, that's the praxis. That's what's being taught in elementary school. That's what's being taught in middle school and high school. That's what we're talking about. You just admitted it. Yeah, totally. In schools, the problem is now that we have this, we have a, a very intentional uh, a campaign, apparently a very successful one, where it is to deconstruct the term to basically mean anything that has to do with race. And I wish that makes conver uh, making these conversations happen so much harder because now everything's critical race theory. Instead of looking at each individual case, now we have to like call it this evil Marxian thing uh, where uh, it's teaching all white kids that they're evil. So that's. I like how he just throws that in there at, towards the end. Like that is the. That is the leftist dodge on critical race theory. Oh, it's just a it's a just a right wing Catch propaganda talking right. point. Yeah. yeah. Which, first of all, 
Jangles doesn't get to make that argument. You know why he doesn't get to make that argument? Well, because he said he talked about critical race theory being necessary. Well, that, but also because that was Sean's first fucking point in this conversation. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah, that was, too. Let's fucking sidestep this and not talk about the term critical race theory, but talk about these specific things and policies that are being taught that we don't like. And Jangles' response to that was, Fuck you, Sean. I'm not going to do that. So fuck you, Jankles. You don't get to bitch about it at the end of the debate. Yeah. Yes. That's why it's not taught in schools. Not because of some like we're trying to hide it. Race stuff probably is, but let's talk about that, not the secret agenda. Next question, please. Uh, yes, thanks. Um, so looking at critical theories, just uh, you know how identity, race, and culture, or I guess in, for critical race theory, just how race plays uh, out and affects the ultimate outcome of people. Uh, let's say we were in an alternative country, Idealistan, and uh, your, your outcome was entirely determined by whether or not you watched uh, Pokemon or Digimon as a kid uh, and played basketball and soccer as a kid. Uh, could you use critical theory? The people that watch Digimon are obviously inferior mm -hmm. to the Pokemon watchers. Look at you. Okay? I'm just going to throw it out there. Listen, bad. Digimon, inferior. Okay. Hey, Digimon. Hey, Digimon. Is that the one? I think I know uh, Digimon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I think Digimon I was... is like Pokemon knockoff. Okay, oh, it really? is? Really? I like your song, Digimon. though. The Hey, Digimon song is pretty good. <laughs> you you like don't like hey, that song? song? No, I didn't. I didn't like the. Hey, it's not. It's Digimon. not. <laughs> what do you mean? The Pokemon song is way better. Oh. Pokemon, gotta get you more, just you and me. God, I, I know it's forever. my destiny, Pokemon. The Hey Did You Man song is no. lit. No. Hey Did You Man, Hey Did You Man. Monster friends to the boys and the girls. Hey Did You Man, <laughs> Hey Did You Man. Champion of the digital world. How do you know this? I looked at the lyrics. But why do you know this? I just remember liking that song. No, but where did you ever hear the song? <laughs> Seven young kids go to camp for the summer <laughs> and wind up living in a digital land. <laughs> Why do you know the Digimon theme song? To tease out the difference between those two things, like could you reject the null hypothesis that uh, race is a determinative factor in your success using critical theories? Is, is it a testable theory? Ooh. As far as your Pokemon versus Digimon, obviously kids who watched Pokemon did better because they could because they were able to identify knockoffs unlike the people who did Digimon. Like, <laughs> oh, look at this, well, Sean! Has, that's believe. hilarious. I can't believe Sean, Sean throws me under the fucking bus. boom, motherfucker! That's hilarious. What's wrong with knockoffs? I sometimes, knew it. Sometimes knockoffs are better. Look at this shot. That's hilarious. My joke opinion was the same joke opinion as Sean's. Look at that. I know. Obviously, great. we are the superior people here. Uh, you guys <laughs> just don't know how to have fun. Why do you guys hate fun? <laughs> hey, Digimon. Hey, Digimon. <laughs> you don't even know the words. I don't. I Monster don't friends know. to the boys, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Champions of the digital world. Come on. Sing with me, guys. It, wasn't that? I thought no. Digimon was like digital monsters. Doo, it is. Doo, doo, doo. Hey, oh, did okay. you man? Hey, did you man? I just, it's so infectious. I probably heard that song once in the car or something. Oh I just, my God. I downloaded it. Let us continue with the CRT. I'm listening to Digimon. Like, so we, we, all, we all get that. How dare you? Um, I can't listen to it on my computer. We'll get a copyright strike. Yeah, I know. As far as the rest of your question, I don't know if anybody wants to take that. That's the important part I want to tackle. <laughs> uh, Sean is the greatest. He's like, he's like, he's like, this debate is, this guy over here is flashing his wiener around. <laughs> this guy's lying half the time. I'm not going to take this debate seriously. Well, it was a really good question, though. And the question was, under critical race theory, how could you, there's no null hypothesis? How could critical race theory ever determine that race is not the factor that's important here? Yeah, that which is the whole first twenty minutes of the debate was over that, but right. they never really settled any right. on that. Yeah, it's just impossible to hear you guys. I hope you guys can sympathize with the cacophonous echo we have to deal with up here. How, how what the, what's going on here? 
They Why don't have this... they don't have monitors on the stage is the problem. Usually they have a PA system with monitors on the stage. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they could just have the person walk up the sh- the stage and yell at them or something. <laughs> like, well, they can't I don't know. even. Like... They can't even hear um, each other because they've been having trouble hearing each other. Usually they put right. they bring out big speakers and they put them right in front there, so each person has a monitor. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to take advantage of my organizer privilege, so you guys can hold that against me if you want. Um, so, James, this is for James. So, James, you've been. Oh, that's, a, I wit, that's unfortunate because that's such a good question. Is this that Mike? That didn't get answered. The null hypothesis? That they didn't James answer. I'm doesn't assuming... even know what a null hypothesis right. is. It's unfortunate. Living and breathing this for years. Uh, even at the risk of losing friends in the past. Uh, so I think there's a lot of uh, apologies owed to you on this topic. Um, in the beginning, we were told critical race theory didn't exist. And then we showed the evidence. Then we were told that's not really, really critical race theory. Then we showed the evidence. Then they said critical race theory is not in K through 12. Then we showed the evidence. Then Virginia happened and I thought the narrative was going to change, but the legacy. I don't know what he's talking about, but there's something far more important mm-hmm. just came up. Okay. What is it? Uh, two Tim 505 for $5 says, Hey, Digimon, Hey, Digimon is from the Digimon movie. Mm-hmm. And the show theme song is Digimon Digital Monsters. So that's why I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. Oh, okay. So you're, you're talking about some movie theme song. <clears throat> So I, I do think actually Adam got high with mm-hmm. some friends and they said, hey, let's go see the Digimon movie. That could have been. That sounds likely. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad we got to the bottom. Thank I've you. Seen the Digimon movie. I probably have. Uh, thank you too, Tim, for uh, helping us get to the bottom of Digimon this. Digimon movie. What? 2020? <laughs> Was this a new movie? It's not. It's got to be some old movie. 2000. Right? Oh, okay. See, media went back to critical race theories not in K through 12 schools. Where is this thing headed in your best estimation? Where is which thing headed? The narrative? Critical race theory. Critical race theory? Yeah. How, how, are the, how is legacy media going, going to defend this? Where are they going with it? How, you know, how much more evidence do we have to give? You know, what, where, ultimately, based on all the years you've spent on this, where is this going? This is so sad because... Like evidence just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. They have a narrative that they're pushing forward to gain political power. So mm-hmm. they're just a propaganda war against critical race theory. The the branding it of a moral panic created by the right is pretty nefarious. That's the, that's all true, but I just listened to the Hey Digimon, Hey Digimon. What the fuck are you doing? And that song is so much shittier mm-hmm. than the Digim- Digimon Digital Monster song that mm-hmm. I cannot even fathom that this is what you remember. <laughs> what I, I sang it to you. It's like a thousand times worse than the normal Digimon theme song. <laughs> well, come on. I have eccentric <laughs> music taste. You know that. It's like, yeah, but you, it, like, if you, it's like a Caribbean, like, oh, yeah, like yeah. light steel drum beat song it's so oh, out of yeah. place and weird yeah it's good it's so pathetically it's got lame. a nice ethnic vibe to it <laughs> come it on sounds it's good so stuff pathetic. Oh their my job God, is to obfuscate the song issue. sounds like Stop it sounds it. like the song Everyone. you would hear when you're like five years old and the barney like song starts and like the barney show starts playing some they 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 bring in a bunch of like 40 year old white guys who pretend like they're 20 and they sing you some lullaby song that's what the hey the jamon song sounds like infectious is what he's saying <laughs> he's basically saying he loves it like my compatriots to my left so that people take their eye off the ball of what's actually being taught and so that they can continue to teach it as long as possible. The goal of teaching critical race theory in the schools is to generate a racial red guard, just like we had under Mao in China. The goal is literally to create a cultural revolution. Wait, critical race theory into the public Look, conversation. Justin will answer for me henceforth. Oh, that's so 
Oh, guess who's not getting? Guess who's not getting invited back to the Better Discourses <laughs> conference? <laughs> Listen, the that guy that stood up said he was one of the one of the organizers. Right? Why would you? Why would you fucking? Why would you do that? I know. Not a not so a good, rude. Not a good. Not a good idea. Yeah. That people take their eye off the ball of what's actually being taught. And so that they can continue to teach it as long as possible. The goal of teaching critical race theory in the schools is to generate a racial red guard, just like we had under Mao in China. The goal is literally to create a cultural revolution. Wait, critical race theory into the public Look, conversation. Justin will answer for me henceforth. We're going to let him answer. <laughs> no, I covered it. And to, to follow up, we'll see what happens the next election this becomes an issue. Because if denying it doesn't work. Look at Carrie right there. She's like. Shut the fuck up, Justin. <laughs> she's totally in his face. Why? She's like, why can't you just be a normal human being? That's what she's saying right now. She's like, why can't you just be normal? Why you got to interrupt people? Why are you like this? She's ba she is telling him that. She's like, listen, you don't have to be an a hole. Look, <laughs> there's a huge thing on the sign. It says better discourse. Can you read? Yeah, it says better discourse with three strikes. Okay. You get three strikes and then you're out of there. <laughs> no, I covered it. <laughs> this is so good. And to, to follow up, we'll see what happens the next election. This becomes an issue because if denying it doesn't work again, then they're going to shift strategy. So, like, one election in Virginia is not enough for them to change their strategy on how to deal with the criticism. But if education becomes a winning issue, they're going to change because that's how politics works. That's very true. That's Sean very, knows very how true. politics yeah. works. I love it. There's yeah. so few people in this space that actually know how politics works. I know. It's in all political from commentary a political perspective. Space. Yeah. Yeah, totally. If it, you know, if if critical race theory is a winning gets people to the polls, hell yeah, they're gonna yeah. run on it. And I if think it, gets, it will. I think it'll get Republicans in the polls. I don't think it's gonna get Democrats in the fucking polls. Oh yeah, well, that's. I mean, it's a winning strategy for Republicans, which right? Means and so Republicans yeah, and then the Democrats will have to. Yeah. You know, they'll have to throw it away. Well, they're not going to throw it away. They're going to be like, "We told you, it's not being taught anywhere ever." That's going to be no, their... but that's what he's saying. He's saying they 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 tried to do this with Virginia and Georgia, and it didn't work. Just the denial didn't work for them. Yeah, and no. so in twenty twenty two, when the midterms come up. If this becomes an issue again, which it might not, but hopefully it will be, if the Democrats have the same strategy of just denying its existence and it doesn't work again, then they're going to have to adopt the new strategy. It's going to be a huge midterm issue. I don't know how. I don't know if it will be. It's hard to. Really? Who knows? Well, who knows what will happen? It could be COVID could be over. COVID could be worse. I mean, <laughs> there could be a war with China. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen next year. It's been crazy recently. It's going to be inflation and CRT. Who knows? We'll see. Right. Inflation could economy. be an issue. It's the economy, stupid. Who knows? Oh, Sean's back in the chat. Sean, there is a point in the debate. Oh, where yes. James yes. Thank got goodness. very very upset and he said that's rude and it's but we couldn't see what happened yeah because, because the camera wasn't also, on him yeah. so do you, do you remember what happened sean yes yeah, what Shane, did uh, we have to know we've speculated that mike pulled his ding dong out but we're... we think <laughs> yes we think liberal sandy project dropped his pants and whipped his dick around <laughs> and that's what was that's what was angering james but we're not sure so since you're there maybe you can let us we're know. not 100 percent positive this is right. this is speculation on our part Right. Uh, Sean said, oh, Sean answers the question. He says, Mike was Mike was turning his hand in a speeded up motion. He oh, was, do, he was doing the, he was doing the wrap it up. Wrap it up. Ding dong. Wrap it up. Interesting. OK, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Now we know. I like to believe still in my mind, in my head cannon, that he whipped his dick out. <laughs> he did the speed it up with his dog. All right. All right. Yeah. He whipped his dick out and he was doing the speed it up. There you go. With his Speed dick. it up. I got to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.